mystery because of the Mediterranean sea level dropping. We know that yesterday I posted a video having to do with the sea level dropping from the area of Turkey, Syria, Lebanon, even in Israel. And uh, the geologists are very concerned about this because this means that a ma major uh, quake is uh, probably going to be hitting. So this is not only here in uh, the Levant that we see this happening, it's also happening in Greece. And this is an area of, uh, of uh, Nafplion, which is basically south of Corinth. So uh, that's in the area. This is what we see at low tide. There is nothing on the beach. This is supposed to be a sea level there. There's supposed to be a sea there. And you can see it's nowhere near. The, uh, this is totally, uh, I would say, logical. It's worrying for the geologists and seismologists because of uh, where the water could be going or perhaps the uh, inflation of the area. Now we're going to take a look at the GPS uh, displacement of the Earth in the area of Greece and the, Le the Levant and Turkey real time so we can see our for ourselves what is going and uh, what's going on there, what's happening with the inflation. So, uh, as you can see, this is really um, something very unusual and extraordinary. So, this is what it looks like in Nafplion, uh, which used to be the first capital of Greece before Athens. And uh, where is the water? That's a good question. And the comment. The article may refer to a natural phenomenon that's often observed in the region, but our question is, how normal is it for the waters to be drawn over a distance of quite a few meters in most countries in the eastern Mediterranean basin from Venice, Italy, to Lebanon and Israel? So it's from Italy all the way down to Israel. And not only that, yesterday's comment, uh, yesterday's uh, article and the video has to do with Tunisia, which is basically under Spain somewhere. So, are we sure that this is not a huge geological rearrangement in the area, which could in the near future produce geological phenomena that will result in the complete change of the morphology of the Earth in this area? And that's the question that's posed, and let science answer it for us. The impressive low tide in Nafplion is underway once again, which is a result of natural phenomena of the tide, it, it is a natural phenomenon that occurs at regular intervals and is observed quite often in Nafplion due to the very shallow sea. The result of the tide is a low tide where the water deflates, hence drop in the water level in the sea is created. The phenomenon is well known tide during which there is a periodic rise and fall of the water level in the lake, a large lake or sea. And more specifically, the rise of the water level is called the high tide, as we know, while the descent is called the, the ebb tide. Together, high tide and low tide are the phenomena of tides, which usually repeat twice every 24 hours, or more precisely, 24 hours, 50 minutes and 30 seconds, and is due to the gravitational attraction of the moon and the sun on the earth, as well as the rotation of the heavenly bodies, that is, the alignment of other planets in our solar system, which is, of course, taking place now. And this is from CNN Greece. I've translated for you from a Greek article. Now let's take a look, take a look at the uh, GPS stations um, to see what the displacement is in the area. We are at the Geodesi uh, map, and these are all the GPS uh, stations around the world. I'll leave a link below, of course, as I always do leave links in, my, in the description box. And you can see what's going on in your area as well. So here we are over Europe. And this is Tunisia, where the uh, and Italy, of course, Venice is up here somewhere. Uh, this is Greece. This is Turkey. This is uh, Israel, Syria, Lebanon. They don't seem to have uh, any GPS stations in Syria. That's very strange. But anyway, let's go take a look at uh, this area here where we had the 7.8 earthquake. Let's take a look at what's going on there. Okay, you can see a lot of displacement here. Uh, this is the um, east-west. East-west, if it's going up, means it's going west. If it's going down, oh, sorry, if it's going up, it's going east. If it's going down, it's going west. 
So this means it's going east, displacing and displacing east. This is north south. If it's going north, it's, it's up, it's going north. So this is going northeast and it's also uh, deflating, inflating, deflating. Okay, so it's going northeast. This area is going northeast this way, showing that uh, the African plate is, is, of course, colliding with the uh, Anatolia plate going, Turkish plate going northeast. Now let's go here. Uh, this is southern Turkey where they had the 6.3 the other day. That's not a good map at all. That's not a good map at all. Not a, not a good one, so we won't rely on that one. Let's take the one just above it. That's not, uh, that stopped in 2006, so we can't take that. Let's take this one above Syria. Okay, again, this is going northeast, and it's basically seasonal. But we see the displacement is going northeast. Okay, and let's take now, let's go in a little bit more. Okay, uh, I re we remember that the 7.8 earthquake was on the Transjordanian Fault, which is the fault going from the Dead Sea, Red Sea, Dead Sea, into the Sea of Galilee. The River Jordan, of course, is on the fault. Everything, uh, every f river is a fault line. That's the first thing you learn in Geology 101. Every river is a fault line. So that is that. And it, the uh, Transjordanian Fault goes this way. And it went over Turkey this way where we had the 7.8. Uh, around the uh, Euphrates and Tigris rivers. So let's take this one here, see how that is, what's going on there. Okay, this is going east, northeast, and we see a lot of movement there. Inflating, deflating, inflating, deflating, inflating, deflating. So uh, let's go now to Cyprus. Let's go here. That's not very good. That doesn't have too many details. Uh, again, it's going northeast. And um, let's go to, uh, uh, that's Lebanon, southern Lebanon. Again, it's going northeast, and it's sort of inflating. We know that the Sea of Galilee is a crater lake, a volcanic lake. lake. Where's the Sea of Galilee? Here it is, Tiberius. And all those ancient uh, hot spring baths are because we have magma under there. So let's take this one here. Okay, it's going northeast. And it's all over the place. And this means it's inflating here. But uh, you can see there's a lot of movement there. Let's go to Haifa, Israel. Uh, this is again going northeast, but more nor, more north towards than east, and it's not really inflating. And let's go to the Dead Sea, this area. Well, let's go on the coast. Let's go on the coast. Again, it's going northeast, and it's inflating. Okay, that is inflating. The coast is inflating anywhere else on the coast. Netanya, northeast and not inflating. Okay, so what's happening to the sea? Let's go to um, more of the Cyprus area. Another one is Cyprus. That's not a good one. Let's take another one. Let's take one here. That's not a good one either. Okay, let's go to Greece. Let's go to Greece. Rhodes. This is Rhodes. That's not a good one, but it's got this is not going, it's not going northeast, it's going southeast. It's going southeast. Wow. Okay, we saw these were going northeast. Rhodes is going southeast. What's happening there? Okay. Oh, look at this. This is going, really going southeast. Okay, this is a movement of Rhodes is going southeast. And let's see what this is. Northeast. Okay, that's not far from there. But what's going on here? Okay, this is going northeast. This is going southeast. So this is going northeast. This is going southeast. So they seem to be splitting from each other. 
Now let's go to um, Santorini, the volcano. This is going e uh, east and this is going south. And it's inflating. Oh my goodness. Okay, you can see what's happening to the islands of the Aegean. They're going the opposite direction of what Turkey's going. And they're inflating. Let's go to, uh, of course, Thera is a volcano. So is Rhodes. Rhodes has magma. There's a lot of hot springs path there. Let's go to this thing here. The, uh, this is this thing here is um, a volcanic island of Nisiros. You can even see it's a crater right there. Nisiros. And you can see it right there. Okay. There you go. That's the, that's the um, crater right there. Let's go back. And uh, we don't have any... What's the closest GPS station there? Let's take one on uh, Delos. Okay. That's going again southeast and it's deflating. Let's go to Kos. No, let's go to uh, Kalimnos. Okay. Again, it's going southeast and it's in, sort of inflating. And let's go to the northern Aegean now. Uh, let's pull out a little bit. So you can see the Aegean Islands are going southeast, south, meaning going southeast. These are going northeast. So there seems to be a splitting here. Um, let's go to Mytilini. Okay, that's going northeast, and it's inflating. Northeast. So that's going northeast. Let's go here. Here's... That's going... That's all over. Okay, that's... Something happened here. I guess they adjusted it. But basically, it's going uh, southeast. So what's happening here? Let's go now to uh, Nafplion. Nafplion, where we said we had the receding... Where's Na Here's Nafplion, right there. Let's go to Epidavros, Epidorus. Okay, that you can see, of course, is going southeast, and it's all over the place. And we do have a, um, the Methana volcano there. Um, Methana, here it is. That's a volcanic island. Let's see what's happening there. And they call it methana from methane because there's a lot of methane gas coming from. Okay, that's go again going southeast and it's all over the place. Um, what's going here in Athens? Let's see. That's not a good one. That's not a good one. Let's take one on the north. Okay, north, north Athens, that's going southeast. So uh, it seems that Greece is going a different direction than Turkey and the Levant. Let's go now to Tunisia, where we saw the sea disappearing there as well. Tunisia, there's Tunisia. Let's go. It only has one GPS station, the whole of Tunisia. Wow. Okay. That's going northeast, and... Uh, it's really uh, all over the place. That's going northeast as well, northeast into Italy. Let's go to the northern area of Italy, around uh, Venice, Florence area, Bologna. There's Venice right there. Okay, Venice. Let's take this one, where we saw the canal waters drying up. This is going northeast, and I don't know what that is. Uh, erratic. Now let's go to uh, the coast of Venice, right there. Again, it's going northeast, and it's uh, level. So you see that uh, Greece is going southeast, and uh, Italy is going northeast, Turkey is going northeast. Uh, of course, we don't know what's happening to the sea. We don't have GPS stations in the sea. Let's take this one here. What's happening with that one? That's going northeast. And it's, it was, it's seasonal, but it's deflating. Uh, let's go to the area, um, Palermo here. Sorry, okay. Uh, okay, let's go to the coast of Palermo, see what's happening. 
that's going again northeast and it's all over the place and let's go take this little island I don't know what that pan pen pet petirella northeast and deflating and uh, there's one GPS station in Tunisia that we saw. Let's take that Algiers. That's not a good one. They have one GPS station. That's not a good one. Of course, um, the... Uh, okay, the... Uh, Canary Islands are volcanic islands, as we know. Let's take one here. What's happening there? That's not a good one. And just, just one more here. Okay, that's going northeast as well. So we saw that from here, in recap, Greece is going um, southeast, Greece is going southeast, and Turkey is going northeast. And of course here we see that the uh, even in Venice the canals were dry all, all the way up here. So what's happening to all this water? This water here in Napoli on Venice um, uh, Turkey, Syria, Lebanon, Israel, where is all that water in uh, Tunisia? Where has all that water gone to? That's my question. Uh, it could be that this area is inflating, and uh, which means that the water is being sloughed off this way. But even in Tunisia, the, the uh, sea levels are low. So what what is happening there? There must be something happening underground causing all this water to be displaced somewhere else so that's what's happening with the gps stations that we saw please leave your comments and thank you for your support kindly support my patreon account the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what i have on my youtube channel thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting you'll find the patreon account details in the description box